In Guam, a total of 20 separate sites are proposed to host surface-to-air interceptors, radars, and other elements that are part of the Enhanced Integrated Air and Missile Defense EIAMD, system. These land-based initiatives will come with associated airspace restrictions around the radar installations, ensuring continuous monitoring of the region and potential risks of electromagnetic interference. The U.S. military is conducting public scoping meetings to inform the island residents about the projects and seek their feedback. The material provided by the U.S. military to the public included the location of the various candidate sites. A block of text accompanying the candidate site map explains, the missile defense system would be able to defend Guam a full 360 degrees around the entirety of the island. The 360 degree capability would be achieved by distributing or placing system components at multiple locations around the island. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how Guam is getting impregnable air defense system. Let's get started. Since it became an American territory in 1898, Guam has been considered a vital asset by Washington. It lies in the Pacific, east of the Philippines. Its proximity to China, Japan, and the Korean Peninsula hand the U.S. a launching pad into Asia, and as such, it's been built up into a military fortress. The U.S. runs a naval base and coast guard station in the south of the island, as well as an air force base in the north, which was regularly used during the Vietnam War. It's a logistic hub and is key to the U.S. forces' capability to conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, and intelligence operations in the Indo-Pacific, providing situational awareness. Guam is one of the important pieces in this larger game, since it's pretty close to China and is expected to play a major role in case a conflict breaks out in the region. Admiral Phil Davidson had earlier told the Senate Armed Services Committee that the island needs protection as the home of 170,000 U.S. citizens and service members, a deep water strategic port, fuel and munition stores, and an airfield used to project U.S. power. Guam would be key to responding to any conflict in the Asia-Pacific region. Davidson said, Guam is a target today. It needs to be defended, and it needs to be prepared for the threats that will come in the future. He added later, China's own Air Force has put out a propaganda video showing their H-6 bomber force attacking Anderson Air Force Base at Guam and distributed that quite publicly. In 2020, Beijing released an official video where the PLA Air Force showed H-6 strategic bombers taking part in a simulated attack on the U.S. Air Force's Anderson Air Force Base at Guam. The rhetoric behind the PLAAF video is clear. Beijing's air arm can hold targets on Guam to risk at a time and place of its choosing. China also has Dongfeng-26, or DF-26, which is an intermediate-range ballistic missile that's capable of reaching Guam. DF-26 is claimed to have a range of over 5,000 kilometers, that's 3,100 miles, and is suitable for conducting precision strikes against ground and naval targets. This has led to the missile being referred to as the Guam Express, or Guam Killer. In 2022, President Joe Biden's government sought around 900 million U.S. dollars from the U.S. Congress to protect Guam against the missile threat from China. As per the Department of Defense's presentation to Congress, the budget included 539 million U.S. dollars from the Missile Defense Agency to establish multiple land-based radar systems, procure weapon system components, and initiate military construction, planning, and design activities. The maiden flight tests of an Aegis missile defense system tailored to defend Guam will occur by the end of 2024. The Missile Defense Agency's, or MDA's, plans were revealed by Rear Admiral Doug Williams at the annual Space and Missile Defense Symposium on August 9, 2023. Rear Admiral Williams said, 
We're going to do our first flight test with the Aegis weapon system deployed on Guam with the SM-32A in the December 2024 timeframe. It will be a modified version of the land-based Aegis Ashore missile defense system designed for bases in Poland and Romania. The Aegis weapon system, AWS, is an automated command and control, C2, and weapons control system with the ANSPY-6 radar and SM-3 Block 2A hit-to-kill interceptor. The ANSPY-6 is an active electronically scanned array 3D radar developed for the United States Navy. The SPY-6 radars, integrated into the Aegis combat system, can help defend against ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, hostile aircraft and surface ships simultaneously, and provide several advantages over legacy radars, including greater detection range, increased sensitivity, and more accurate discrimination. The SM-3 Block 2A features a variety of upgrades over the Block 2 version and is developed jointly by the US and Japan. It has a larger, more maneuverable exo-atmospheric kill vehicle with longer endurance. It also possesses an upgraded infrared targeting system that enables it to better distinguish the incoming warhead from the debris. SM-3 Block 2A is jointly manufactured by Raytheon, Aerojet, and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries. The Block 2A variant has a max speed of 4.5 km per second, or Mach 13.2, and has a range of 1,200 km, or 745 miles, and a service ceiling of 1,050 km, or around 650 miles. It's designed to destroy short to intermediate range ballistic missile threats, but tests showed that it can be used to engage ICBMs, too. There is a possibility that China may attempt an invasion of Taiwan in the decade. While Guam is very important, this possibility elevates its significance even more. There's no doubt that it's Guam that will be in the crosshairs. The U.S. military already has some key assets to protect Guam, the Terminal High Altitude Area Defense System, as well as Patriot Systems, are currently deployed in Guam, which protect against ballistic missile threats. Aegis ships are patrolling the area. Israeli Iron Dome batteries are also deployed. But as evident, more needs to be done, and this is exactly what's now underway. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting, and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.